Hello and welcome to Tala Talks NICU, where we take complicated medical concepts and make them super easy for you to understand. It's just going to be a quick video this week. We're just going to be talking about breast milk storage, which, as you all know, is super important for our NICU babies. Before I continue, please remember to like this video, to subscribe if you're interested in NICU related content, and also to go answer the multiple choice questions under the community channel. They really help all the information stick. Today, all the information I'm gonna be going over comes from three different sources. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control, the AAP, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and La Leche League. All the references are written below, so go and check them all out. We're not gonna be going over all the different ways that the breast milk is fantastic for babies, especially our growing NICU babies. Today, we're just gonna go over the different steps that the mothers and everybody in the NICU needs to know so that we have the most perfect technique possible for obtaining and storing the breast milk. Hopefully, a lot of your units do have the brilliant lactation specialist that can kind of remind you of all these steps too. Right, so even before mothers start pumping their breast milk, they need to make sure that the environment that they're in is really clean. So don't pump in bathrooms, especially in hospital bathrooms. Then before the mothers start, they should wash their hands with soap and water, or if soap and water isn't available, then they should use an alcohol-based sanitizer with at least about 60% alcohol in it. If the mother is using a pump rather than manually expressing, then she should inspect the tubing in the pump itself and make sure that it's not dirty or moldy. Obviously, if it is, then we should be using different tubing. If it is a shared pump, then you need to disinfect the surface. So clean down the power dials, the on and off switch, as well as the countertop surface with a disinfectant wipe. So where do you store the milk? You should always use the breast milk bags or clean food grade containers, which are made of plastic or glass to store the breast milk in. And obviously they always have to have a really tight fitting lid. You should be avoiding containers with bisphenol A in them or the abbreviation BPA, which will also have the recycling symbol three or seven. So don't use these containers. Polypropylene is a safe alternative and it's kind of soft and semi-cloudy and it will have the recycling symbol 5 and or the letters PP on the recycling symbol. Or you could just avoid using plastic altogether and just use glass. Remember that the milk will expand when it's frozen. So always leave about an inch at the top of the bag or the bottle so that there's room for that milk to expand. If you are putting the milk into a bag, then squeeze out all the air after you put the milk in. Store the milk in one to four ounce aliquots. So remember that you really don't want any of it to go to waste. And the smaller the NICU baby, the lower the volume that they're going to be eating. So don't store huge quantities of milk because they're all gonna have to be thawed at the same time. Then make sure that you always label the bottle of the milk from the date that you actually expressed it and maybe even the time. And if you're going to be giving the milk to your baby in the NICU, then make sure that your baby's name and medical record number or whatever else that the hospital wants you to have on the label is actually there. Mistakes can happen. And the more clearly that you label the milk, the less likely that mistakes will happen. If you're traveling with milk, then you can store the freshly expressed breast milk in an insulated cooler with ice bags for up to 24 hours. As soon as you get to your destination or the NICU, then it should be used immediately, put in the fridge or then frozen. So how long can we actually store the breast milk for? For freshly expressed breast milk, these numbers are slightly different from milk that's already been thawed. And obviously it differs whether the milk is set on the countertop at room temperature, in the fridge or in the freezer. Freshly expressed breast milk can be kept at room temperature on the countertop, which is about 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius for up to four hours. In the refrigerator where the temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit or four degrees Celsius, you can keep it in the fridge for up to four days. Lots of fours there. 
And in the freezer, with a temperature of zero degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius or lower, you can keep the fresh milk in the freezer for up to six to 12 months. If it is previously frozen thawed milk, then divide those numbers by about four. You can keep thawed milk on the countertop for one to two hours, and you can keep it in the fridge for 24 hours or one day. Remember, if you've already thawed frozen milk, then never refreeze it. And then once the breast milk has come to room temperature on the countertop or you've warmed up that milk, it needs to be used within two hours. If you are at home, then do not put the breast milk bottles in the door of the fridge or the refrigerator because that's the area where the temperature differs most because you're constantly open and closing the door. And then when we use the breast milk, obviously our priority is that we would always like to use the freshest breast milk first. So if you're coming to the unit and you can pump right there and then we can give the baby the breast milk that you just pumped, that would be the best. Otherwise, we will use the oldest breast milk first. So first in, first out. In the unit, we use a warmer to slowly thaw the milk and warm up the milk a little bit. At home, you can thaw frozen milk in the refrigerator overnight, or you can put it in a container with warm water, or you can just put the frozen milk under running lukewarm water. Just a quick reminder, never use a microwave for heating or thawing breast milk. Microwaving can destroy some of the nutrients in breast milk and a microwave can heat the different areas of the breast milk unevenly. So even though the whole thing may not feel too hot, different areas of the milk may actually burn the baby's mouth. So don't do that. And then generally you should, especially if you're at home, check the temperature of the milk before you feed the baby, just to be 100% certain that that it is at the right temperature. That was quick. I promise we'll be back with the longer NICU related lectures soon. But in the meantime, um, go check out the references below if you have any more questions on this topic. Thank you so much for being here.